Three, two, one. Hello, I am Positive Harry, and thank you so very much for your time. Happy, happy Monday to you. It is February the 3rd, 2014. January, just gone. And life is going to go by quick, and, and we want to make sure that we make the very most out of our lives each and every day. That's one of the reasons why I want to do this channel because I want to be able to give positive information. Now today's topic is how to handle stress in a college environment and this came from one of my friends, one of my subscribers and I just really appreciate um, giving me this topic so that I can talk about it. it gave me some things to think about and uh, I thought about my first college class. My first college class was in 19 77. Wow, 1977. Now my last college course was in 1997. Wow. Okay. And so first of all is that I started off with school and then uh, ended up stopping school, getting married, having a family, and then in the military, and then so I had to go to night classes. And so if you have the you have the opportunity to go to school, you're straight four years, do that before you do anything else. Okay. So first of all, uh, in in dealing with stress, you want to connect. You want to make a connection with with yourself on a positive level. Making a connection with yourself on a positive level. Level whether that's through uh, meditation, whether that's through prayer. You want to make sure that you get in tune with you and what's going on inside of your body. You know, if your body is feeling stress, why is it feeling stress? And what ways to alleviate stress? You really want to look at ways that you can alleviate stress. Now, one of the things that oh, uh, is one of, a saying that I like. It says, "If you plan to fail." If you fail the plan, you plan to fail. If you fail the plan, you plan to fail. You want to make sure you have a plan, especially in, in, inside of college when you get the courses, you get the syllabus, you kind of get a feel for what the teacher is looking for, uh, the size of the project. And I have this thing that I say, okay, if something starts off as a, a little monkey and then it goes to a chimpanzee, and then an orangutan, and then a, a gorilla, then it's got this king cone, and that is like weighing down on, side of, uh, on top of me. And so... Each day you want to look at what is that King Kong and address it, okay? Address it. Even if you chip away at it, if you can't get it all in one day, chip away at it. You'll feel you'll feel better about that. We are uh, under the, um, a lot of times what we'll do is we'll get busy with the little projects, little, okay, time killers. Like, oh, I don't have time for this. And we play that game with ourselves. So look at for that big project and kind of chip away at that. Um, and then have, you know, have that plan each and every day, you know, um, you know, there's certain things that I must do every day. I must journal every day. I must uh, read the word every day. I must pray every day. And then um, from there, I just go on and make a list of some of the other things that I need to do, big projects that I, uh, I need to uh, need to work on. And it's amazing that you can think about doing this project for like two or three weeks. And then the next thing, you know, oh, wow, I say, oh, let me do it. And 20 minutes, 20 minutes, and the project is complete after you spent two or three weeks thinking about it. You see? So look um, look at that. That usually helps uh, alleviate stress. Now, another thing that I wrote down, it says, is your body prepared? Is your, is your body prepared to handle uh, the stress? Because what happens is that each and um, every one of us, we're going to have stress. They say there's good stress and there's bad stress, and I agree with that. But what happens is that is your body prepared to handle the stress spiritually, physically, mentally, psychologically? Okay, let's look at the physical aspect. You know, how are you taking care of your body? I did a series on, or I did a video on water. Water consumption is so very important. You know, you should always have water around. I have water on that desk oh, over there. I have water in my bathroom, a gallon jug of water in my bathroom. Downstairs, and this morning I was saying, man, I need some water next to my bedside in the glass, you know, so that I can just pour and drink water when I first wake up or in the middle of the night or something. Water is just um, just really a wonderful uh substance to put inside of your body and so you want to make sure that your body is hydrated as I talked in another video if you don't have that hydration your blood is it moves like a slug it just goes through like sludge 
you know, through through your vein. Do you ever feel sluggish? Okay, uh, look at that, you know, because you're feeling sluggish, sluggish, some, and sometimes the people, a lot of times people say, oh, let me get that Starbucks or let me get that uh, energy drink, you know, but your your body, it well, yes, you it'll stimulate your mind, but guess what? Your blood is still going to be moving like sludge. So hydration is really good for maintaining stress. Not only that, complex carbs, which you eat, you know, like some french fries, it's really good, but they, you know, uh, you eat those, and then yes, it's gonna spike your insulin level. Level, you know. Now they even have sweet potato fries, and you know, okay, we are not gonna go into that. Okay, so looking at different complex carbs is going to take time to break down inside of your body and not spike your insulin level where you have those highs and lows. A good multivitamin, make sure that you're taking a good multivitamins, you know, and you can get those from the G, no, I'm not gonna say that. Uh, you can get those from just different stores uh, and get a good multivitamin. So you wanna look at your com complex carbs, you wanna look at your protein, uh, multivitamins and fat. People really underestimate fat. And they say, oh, if I eat fat, I'm going to get fat. No, no, no. Do some research on it. You need fat. You need fat. You need almonds. You need cashews. You need nuts. Uh, and if you look at olive oil, uh, which has tons of fat, but it's healthy fats inside of it. And, you know, I always have like a bottle of virgin olive oil. And what I'll do is I'll put it in a teaspoon. I'll mix it in some milk and just drink it and get it in. Some people put it on their salad. I do that. I do that too sometimes. But you want to be able to do that. Look, in the, look also look into some apple uh, cider. Not apple cider. I have apple vinegar cider. That is uh, really good, too, for, for the body. Now, the last thing that I want to share with you, and which is really important, is sleep. Not necessarily sleep, but rest. Because how many times you go to sleep and you wake up and you're not rested? And you're not rested. Well, sometimes what happens is that your body gets so accustomed to that that it just is like out of whack. So one of the things that I do, that I personally do, is when it's out of whack, I, I get um, take some um, over-the-counter sleep medication, such as uh, melatonin, really good. And then I found something else that's called deep sleep. That was that was really good. And a couple months ago, it was just it was just it was going through a lot, a lot of changes, moving, just different things like that, and I wasn't getting the proper getting the proper rest. And when you don't get the proper rest, things have stress has a way of compounding, compounding with the every, just the littlest thing that you wouldn't if you were rested, it wouldn't even affect you. And that's a good sign for me because it's just like I can let a lot of things just go that you know I don't have a dog in that fight, I just move on. But then I could think about something, I could hear something, and then my whole day is just like wrapped around uh, the axle and just getting all intense. So where's, where is that coming from? By knowing uh, my body, I know that I'm not getting the proper rest or I go through a process of, okay, am I hydrated today? Or, you know, just different things. How was my diet? So kind of gauging, you know, kind of gauging that and say, um, and also I almost forgot about this and we'll come back to sleep. Work into your schedule every day, a workout and something to do that's fun. Now, when I say a workout, I'm not talking about you got to get to the gym and put 30, 40 minutes on a treadmill or um, elliptical or something like that. I'm saying like a workout, you know, you can break away from your computer or a project and do a 10 minute workout. You can do air squats. I would demonstrate for you, but I don't know my camera uh, with my camera air squats, you know, just squatting. You can pick up anything. There's always things around. Okay. <laughs> See, there's always things around. Okay. You can take water jugs uh, and you can put it over your head. If you carry your stress, like in your shoulders. See, this feels good. Just like this because it, it's stretching my arms in, in a different way. And I can be moving it up like this, right? I could even curl it, whatever I could do. There's always things that you can do. Uh, and even going up and down the stairs. If you have stairs, go and walk up and down them for five, uh, five minutes or five times. And you know what's going to happen? Your heart is going to start pumping. And then remember, I told you about your blood. And then they get that blood moving, okay, and circulating throughout your whole body. And then you can come back. And it's just like uh, you just started because your body 
is not in that stagnant uh, mode. And so uh, look at that and then something fun, whether the something fun is, you know, calling someone who you know is going to make you laugh. Um, and I have people in my mind when I, that's, that, that I can call and that I can make laugh or they can make me laugh and that is fun. Or I can play my favorite video game for about 10 or 15 minutes. Boom, having, you know, something uh, something fun. Working out, you know, working out is fun uh, for me, going to the gym. But it's different than um, the other fun that I am talking about. So make sure you implement those because you're worth it. Another thing I like to add is that um, a poster board. A poster board. Put a poster board up, and on that poster board, put on some of the things that why, why you're going to the education. Why are you getting the education? You could have put a nice home. You could put a picture of um, a bride or a groom or uh, wedding pictures or different things uh, that you're putting. You could put pictures of kids um, traveling, whatever it may be. You know, so you have that in your room where you see. This is why I am going, this is why I'm going to school. This is why I'm going to school. Because I want a better education. I want to better my life. I want family. I want to travel. I want to enjoy. I want to be a productive citizen of society. So um, look at that as, as well. But getting back to the rest and, and the sleep or the sleep and the rest or the rest primarily, <laughs> you know, look at that and even to reboot your pattern because after uh, a couple of weeks after a couple of weeks of doing the deep sleep and the melatonin um, is that my body got back into a, a routine and so with since my body's back in a routine I stopped those things a couple of weeks ago and now I can just go to sleep and sleep normal and everything is okay so I hope that this message was very helpful uh, not just only with the handling stress in college, but handling stress uh, from day to day. Um, and journaling is, I think, yeah, I said that's that's what I do. Journaling is so wonderful uh, because that helps you get in tune. That can be part of your meditation and your prayer. Uh, journaling helps you to get in tune to you. Remember what I said, get in tune to yourself. Um, check in with yourself to see how you're doing and what's going on. All right, this is a very lengthy um, video and maybe I'll do uh, a short one. <laughs> short short one all right remember I am positive Harry and I approve this message Lord bless you